Gray from Momel, and after Mr. Ray, we'll have Alex Morgan from Little Rock. Thank you, Director Bennett, for your service. Uh, my condolences are with you and to all of the commissioners on the loss of Mr. Sheck. Uh, I want to also thank you for coming to Maumel and giving people the opportunity to speak on this. Uh, I agree with you that highway and infrastructure funding in Arkansas needs to be increased. I do not agree that it needs to be done through a tax increase. Um, if you go on the old AHTD website, before uh, it was changed to RDOT, the website said, talking about issue one in 2012, that it would give us among the best roads in the nation, that's a direct quote, that it would be, quote, temporary, and that it would, quote, be abolished by the Constitution. In my opinion, it breeds cynicism and distrust among voters and with the general public when a tax that they were promised was going to expire comes back and is made permanent. The second point that I would make is in the literature that folks are being given, which I presume is taxpayer funding. They're being told that issue one is not a tax increase. I fundamentally disagree with that. I have a lot of friends that are in favor of the tax increase. I have a lot of friends that are opposed to it. But to say that it's not a tax increase is simply not accurate. If you or I ran afoul of the law and we got a 10-year sentence in prison and eight years into that sentence, the judge said, hey, we're going to put it up to the jury again. And if the jury votes to extend that sentence and make it permanent, you'll just stay in jail forever. I think that's how a lot of voters feel about this. And so that's what I want to share tonight. Um, but I do believe that we need to improve and continue infrastructure funding in Arkansas make it a priority in our budget, and do it without raising taxes. Thank you.